Hey guys, Brian here with Sunshine Acres Hobby Farm. So if you're like most people that have been having chickens this year, you've noticed something weird about your chickens laying uh, this year from probably about September on. Uh, that's what we noticed here up in Wisconsin um, that we went to like nothing in September. We were getting maybe one egg um, every three or four days from our silkies, but our large hens we were getting nothing. Um, and we were feeding a sprout feed from Fleet Farm. So we weren't really using the Perina all that much. Every once in a while, I'd grab one of those bags just to give it to them, but not very often, very seldom. So I didn't think it was what we were doing. I thought maybe, oh, people are having this problem. Maybe it's just because they went into the winter season a little faster. I thought, you know what, though? Every, a lot of people are having success switching their feed up. So I say, hey, let's give it a shot. So I went to a local feed store. And um, I went and got a mash feed, which is only about like 14 something for a 50 pound bag. And I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like mash because I know sometimes you feel like you waste some and it's kind of dusty and it gets to the bottom of the feeders and sometimes it gets, doesn't get used up. But I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, so what I ended up doing is getting that and just adding it to my normal um, other additives that I add. So I got the mash feed in here, right? But also, I add a couple scoops, about a cup and a half of, in a measurement, of diatomaceous earth. Okay, I add that to the feed. I also add about um, three of these scoops to the 50 pound feeds of sunflower seeds. Now this scoop, just so you know, is two cups, so that's six cups. So, so think of it that way, six cups of sunflower seeds. I add four cups of brewer's yeast, okay? So two of these two cups. I add three of these two cuppers, so six cups of corn, just because it's winter time. Give them a little extra. And then I add also four cups or two of these two cups of whole oats. And I mix it all up. And like you were seeing in the beginning, this is what you get. Okay. And I'm telling you, it, I'm a believer. And I'm not a believer because of all this stuff, right? That I added. Because, you know, the brewer's yeast got more... Um, a lot more protein in it than a lot of this stuff does, quite a bit of protein. It's not because of that. I was already using this stuff, but I switched the feed up. And when I did the actual feed change, the production went up like crazy. So I'm a believer. Something was going on with the feed. I don't know what, but something was going on. Okay. Um, so maybe if you're having trouble, switch that feed up. I, uh, I really think people should do that. I, I didn't quite believe it at first, but I'm a believer. Now I am. Um, also, I just want to add one thing. This brewer's yeast, guys, if you have ducks or you want to add a little bit more protein, you get this uh, brewer's yeast. It's kind of expensive. It's probably like, I think I pay like 20 some bucks for a 50 pound bag. It's kind of expensive, but you don't use a ton of it. Um, this is great for ducks. So if you have ducks and you're going to add um, to your 50 pound bag of feed, you add maybe, you know, two to four cups to it. And then the ducks can eat your normal feed that you're giving your chickens because it gives them, it's a great source of niacin. Okay. Just thought I'd add that. So, but anyways, just so you guys know, that's what we do. And, and, uh, thought we'd help you out. And cause we listen to some other people on YouTube and sure enough, it worked. So have a blessed day, everybody.